Hey friends, so in this video we are going to talk about second marriage. So I'm going to tell you uh, many things regarding it. So if you are new to the channel, please subscribe so that you don't miss any video. If you want to purchase personal consultation, you can contact me for that. So let's start this video. So first of all, your seventh house tells you about your marriage. Okay, the planets in the seventh house, Dara Karka, seventh lord. Venus, these are important planets for marriage. Okay, so no matter you get married first time, second time, third time, you will only attract the partner represented by your Dara Karka, represented by your seventh house, because you only want someone who is like your seventh house, who is like your Dara Karka. You will not feel happy with someone. Who doesn't have the quality of your seventh house okay whatever your dara karka is you will only feel happy with that type of person okay if you have dara karka saturn you will only feel happy with someone who has the saturn quality like disciplined and uh, they are serious simple down to earth hard working caring devoted they never show off this type of people if you have rahu in the trine of your seventh lord or in the trine of your seventh house then it shows or twelfth lord then it shows you will want to have a partner who is foreign or different culture right so you will only feel comfortable with someone who is satisfying the characteristics of your seventh house okay so first you have to see the birth chart only and then uh, to go deeper into uh, this, we can look at the Navamsha chart. Okay, Navamsha chart, uh, planetary placements, uh, uh, how these are going to give you fruits. Okay, for example, if seventh lord is not well placed in the birth chart, we can see in the Navamsha chart it is well placed or not. If it is well placed, then we can say at least that yes, this person can get married. But if in the Navamsha also it's not well placed, nothing will happen so first you have to check all these things from the birth chart yes. so you will only feel happy with someone with whom your seventh house is matching some people say that we can look at the ninth house eighth house no it will not work right if you if you want to change your seventh house then you have to change your ascendant also your ascendant is, is first house then how can your uh, second marriage become ninth house we don't look uh, marriage from the ninth house right so what you will do with the seventh house then you will make seventh house as a first marriage something that is over so there will be no role of seventh house again in your life then uh, ninth house will become the seventh house and then your ascendant will also change your whole life will change then we have to turn your ascendant and make your ascendant the uh, third house right it doesn't work like that so seventh house is the only house which will show you about your marriage okay and you can look at in the navamsha chart if you want to ask should i get married the second time look at the planetary position in the navamsha chart okay if in the navamsha chart seventh lord is well placed venus is well placed well placed means what see they are in the certain signs and even if it's exalted then don't consider it to be well placed okay so when it really becomes very much powerful then sometimes it will not give you that much good results so you need to check first of all are there afflictions in our seventh house or not if afflictions are there then don't go for second marriage also and then you need to see the karmas of this life for example, let's say 7th house in the Navamsha chart is good. Then you need to check your karmas in this life. Are your karmas good? Have you respected your partner? Have you done everything for your partner? You have never cheated on your partner. And uh, you have not done any uh, karma that you think may come back or may affect your 7th house. Okay, Because if you have done any karma, you have... Uh, or like cheated on your partner or something like that okay if you have done then it's better you don't go for second marriage 
because that karma will come back because you uh, you have afflicted seven thousand also and then you have created a new karma then you should not go for second marriage okay so the people who have their seventh lord well placed in the navamsha they, they should only go for second marriage otherwise they should not go for second marriage also because no matter how many times they get married same thing can repeat if their seventh house is not good seventh lord is not good for example your seventh lord is in the sixth house in the d1 but in the d9 it goes in the fifth house or in the fourth house then it's a good placement okay so this way we have to see and then you have to see uh, which planets are in trine of your seventh lord or seventh house okay for example you have ketu in the trine of venus okay or, or jupiter or saturn these planets uh, may take you towards spirituality right especially if you have ketu in the first house it can take you towards spirituality only even ketu in the seventh house also also you need to check your seventh lord in the birth chart it is in which sign is it in a fixed sign dual signs if it is in the movable sign then yes second marriage can happen if it is in the fixed sign then no second marriage will not happen okay so you have to check this also then you have to exception to this is if rahu uh, ketu are in the first seventh house especially rahu okay rahu in the seventh house because ketu uh, brings so much problem in marriage so second marriage uh, especially in the navamsha chart becomes a uh, very much impossible so you have to check if rahu is there and uh, dual signs are in the seventh house then also second marriage can take place dual signs in the seventh house then second marriage can take place okay but in if in the navamsha chart also there is no dual sign no rahu connection and seventh lord is also in the fixed sign then second marriage will not happen second uh, second marriage can only happen when seventh lord seventh house has the connection with your dual signs then only and then if your you have your birth timing is accurate then you can check from the kp astrology also if the seventh lord cuspal sub lord is mercury or jupiter then second marriage will happen and if these are not your cuspal sub lord but these are in the star of jupiter or mercury or their sub lord becomes jupiter or mercury or uh, sub lord of the seventh house the star lord of this sub lord or the sub lord of this sub lord is in dual signs aspected by jupiter or mercury or in close conjunction within 3 4 degrees of jupiter and mercury then second marriage will happen okay so only thing that i want to say go for second marriage if in your navamsha chart your seventh house is good both of the d1 and the d9 venus is good and in the trine of the seventh lord also there are no malefic planets like saturn mars rahu ketu in the trine of venus there are no malefic planet venus is at the normal degree okay youthful stage then go for second marriage otherwise don't go for second marriage okay position of venus is very important otherwise uh, again the same thing can repeat Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye.